Hey there gamers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of homebrew games. What are homebrew games you ask? Well, stick around because I'm about to tell ya. What exactly are homebrew games? Simply put, they're games created by enthusiast hobbyists and indie developers for platforms like consoles, computers, and even handheld devices. These games are often developed outside of the traditional gaming industry, allowing for a wide range of unique and innovative experiences. One of the reasons I like homebrew games is the amount of creativity that goes into some of these, and the fact that some of these games actually look like something a big name developer created, and the ease of how to get into the community as well. Before you really had to know how to seriously code or create a game, but now you don't even need to know how to code. With a lot of the game engines that make incredibly easy to use, even for beginners to create a game at all. Not to mention that if you go on itch.io, you can easily distribute your game for free or earn some cash, or just release it there for anyone to get and play, and even enter in Game Jam, which are best themed in certain aspects of homebrew game development. In the past, I have been a part of the annual Christmas Game Jam called Secret Santa. I will put a link in a playlist of the video if you wish to see about that. So how did I get into the homebrew game thing? Well, a few years ago, I was in a retro gaming Discord server, and someone had posted in it asking if anyone would like to be part of a beta testing for a game that he was creating. Beta testing is an early release of a game to either select people or to the public to find out and sort out any issues and bugs in a game before the official launch of the game. So I expressed interest in it since I was never part of a beta testing at all, and I figured, why not? Once I did that, I was then invited to join a new Discord server, specifically for the beta test, and was then given an early version of the game, and that is when I actually got in to really meet one of the great homebrew game developers, Matt Houston. And after I got to really talk to him, I found out that not only is he big into homebrew games, He's also been a part of some well-known bigger games like Gears 5 and so on. His game was one of my favorite homebrew games of all time, Witch and Wiz. The homebrew scene has grown immensely over the years. Not only do you have Ishtad.io, but you can Google homebrew game sites and find a bunch of them. But if you want to see a series of homebrew NES games from past years, Look up the NES Developers Competition. This was a huge competition of homebrew game developers that made games that were designed for the NES. And if you search your site, you can find ROMs featuring some of the best entrances from past years. I am not sure if this still goes on anymore, but it is a great place to find some of the best of the NES homebrew scenes. But NES is not the only console people can make games for. People have made games for other consoles and even handheld devices as well. Now, there are a ton of free programs that you can find for both PC and Mac that allow you to create your own homebrew game, and some of them cost some money, and some of them are free. Here's a list of a bunch of them. The first up is GDevelop. This engine is really easy to learn. It allows for both point and click and coding as well. It's a nice free library of assets you can use to create your own game. It has its own community as well. You can get it free for both PC and Mac. My secret set to entry this past Christmas was made with this engine. Game Maker is made for PC and Mac. And one of the most well-known horror games of all time, or in this in my opinion, Undertale, was made with this engine. So that tells you that this engine is no joke. You can find this one on Steam, but you do have to pay for it. But it's not that expensive. Godot, this is another good free game engine that's both PC and Mac. This also allows very easy for beginners to pick up and learn. It offers both 2D and 3D game development, and it has a really great community supporting it. RPG Maker, I have used this one myself. RPG Maker is a great engine to work with. It has a small degree of difficulty to figure out, but it won't take you long to learn it. It is also the whole thing is really easy to use. And it has a great amount of free assets you can use as well. Now this is just a sampling of some of the game engines you can use to create your own game. There are a ton more you can use if you just look, and there are a ton of Discord servers for each engine and sites as well. 
But itch.io to me is the best place to put your game for others to try. I will put a link to mine in the description as well as a pinned comment if you want to see what I have done so far. So to end this, I want to focus more on some of these homebrew games in future videos. And I want to showcase on the channel to help get these great indie developers known to others that may have not heard of them. I have a small playlist of some that I have done in the past. And also, if you want to also look into it, you can also find a massive subreddit dedicated to homebrew games as well, which I will link in the pinned comment and in the description. If you know of any homebrew games you want me to look at or want to know more a bit about them, let me know in the comments below. I'm Professor Retro, reminding you to keep your consoles turned on, your controllers slugged in, and to laugh hard and game on. Peace out, and stay gaming.